Hey guys, I'm Lucky Man back here from the video, guys. Welcome back to my daily sniping series. Guys, let's get right into it. So, first off, I'm sniping at 4.30 in the morning, and I did say this is the worst time to snipe. Someone did comment down below and say that if you do snipe at night, though, you get to control the market, which is true, because, of course, if you snipe at nighttime, certain cards will be certain prices. For example, let's say certain cards will be higher prices, they sell for more at night, and then, of course, during the daytime, they actually go for less, because more people on. And that's something I want to talk about in this video, is a couple of things. We want to talk about what is the next big promo that will kind of crash the market second thing we're going to talk about is when to sell when to buy kind of stuff like that all the kind of good stuff so guys let's get right into it we all sniping at night too let's get into it so starting off right away let's start off with that what i just talked about kind of repeat my point but go more in depth so when do you sell cards well my opinion is honestly is you always have to look at pst and est now, PST is, of course, like California, West Coast time. EST is um, East Coast time. And then you have the middle standard time, mountain standard time in the middle. So with that in mind, you always got to look at that. So first off, I always recommend selling your cards at nighttime. Now, when I'm saying at nighttime, I do not mean at 9 p.m. on the East Coast because 9 p.m. on the East Coast is 6 p.m. on the West Coast. Keep that in mind. So what I recommend selling, if I'm going to sell at nighttime, which I recommend doing if you're ever going to sell cards always sell at night is sell them at like 11 or 12 11 p.m 12 a.m that night and the reason why is because as someone said commented which is so true you can control the market less people on but there's still be people on buying but less people on to go ahead and you know undercut you or put up a call there'll be less cards flooding the auction house than there are during the day when there's a million people on, you know, trying to sell cards, right? And even on weekdays, there's a lot less on weekends, but still during the weekdays, still a lot of people on. There's still a lot of people selling cards. And with that in mind, you know, selling at nighttime, again, EST, PST, always look at that. Oh, my line. Oh, causing my lineup. Uh, EST, PST time, always look at that. Around 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. Now, when do you buy cards? My recommendation to buy cards is always around... If you're going to buy cards during the weekends, that's the best time to do it. During the weekends, always the best time to buy cards. But let's say, you know, you're like, you want know fluff the weekends. Um, During the week, I want to know right now. Today is... What? What is today? Today is Thursday. When do I buy cards on a Thursday? And it's the same time you snipe. Around... 1 to 6 p.m. on a weekday. Reason why? People are getting off school. People are getting off work. They're playing Madden. They're putting cards up. Best time to buy. Now, again, the best time to buy during a weekend, anywhere from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And that's because 10 a.m. is when they put out the new legends, new content in the game, and new packs are in the game. And that's when you would buy or snipe, whatever you would do so. Nonetheless, that is the best time to buy. Best time to uh, sell. Again, my personal preference, but that has worked out for me so well. Selling at nighttime, especially, is like, so most of the time when you are selling, you put a card up for an hour, right? You put a card up for an hour so you can show up in the newest, uh, you know, newest card available. Now, I've talked about in a previous video about overpricing your cards. Uh, overpricing your cards is pretty much just not looking at the cheapest one up, looking at three over from the cheapest one up, and then putting your card for that exact amount or a little bit under that amount and the whole point of that is again controlling the market so when it comes to um what's called selling your cards at night you want to put them up for eight hours and the reason why is because obviously right now let's say you sell the cards at 1 a.m from 1 a.m to 8 a.m or 1 a.m to 9 a.m you want your cards on the market with a chance of someone to buy them right so that's the whole point of that um with that in mind though um, let's go with that in mind. Most likely, they will sell, and also, again, you get to control the market. So, next thing I want to talk about is going to be the next big promo that will probably change the market as a whole. Now, the next promo that we know of coming out is going to be two things Team of the Week, and we know we're going to have Mutt Heroes. So, Team of the Week promo will probably come out if it if it does start with the preseason, which I really do think it will. That will change the market a little bit because it will add a lot of new cards every single week to the market, but it won't crash the market. 
it won't crash it as entirely it will bring down some value of cards especially because the masters will most likely be 89 overalls 89 90 overall masters we get a limited time card in there that could also bring down the price of cards but with limited times being a little bit less valuable this year being only 250,000 quick sell nonetheless though that's beside the point the thing that would crash the market completely is again i don't think team week promo I think honestly it would be the Mutt Heroes. That's what I'm really looking at as a market crasher. Last year I do not believe it crashed the market that much at all. And previous year I don't think it crashed it too too much. But with it being coming out this early. And especially if they do release it this early. Like we saw with monthly rewards for Weekend League. If that is the case and they do release it so early. And they don't just push it back and wait for whatever reason. That's going to really change the market in my opinion. And the reason why is because you got to think. We're adding. Now I saw someone comment down below and told me that the Masters were 88s. And actually I forgot about that. We're adding 32 88 overalls to the game. Right. And then we're adding 32 84s to the game with the sidekicks. You got to think that's going to end. And I think there's also like some other players. Like there's like. I think there's a nemesis. Or not a nemesis. It's someone other cards that go into the set right all those things 32 of each of each piece there that's going to add so much to the market and bring down the price of a lot of cards a lot of those players will be pretty cheap especially because of bundles and that just makes the price of that overall position come down just a tad bit so i'm not expecting to see a complete market crash with my heroes and we have never seen a complete market crash in my heroes but i'm expecting us to see especially because we usually got in september and you know october time this year, if we get them in August, that would be crazy. Even at the end of August, early September, I guess that would be the same time period. But it would definitely bring down the price of a lot of cards, but not a market crash. And I've said this in a previous video, and I feel like the whole idea of a market crash when we're promo releasing, because everyone's like, oh, when should I sell my team? When should I sell my team? Obviously, we're really we're only even talking about that subject. But everyone talks about when should I sell my team? When should I sell my team? It comes down to the fact of... A lot of times, the promo is not what crashes the market. It's not on, because a lot of times on promo day, when the promo releases, everything's out there, everything's having, everyone's having fun buying these cards, picking up these cards. That's when the promo, that's when the market isn't crashed. The market crashes right before the promo. When everyone's selling their cards, selling their teams, everything like that, that is when the actual market crashes. And then during promo day, when the promo does release, that's when the market goes back up because everyone is buying the cards back and obviously the market is higher on promo day release. So the whole idea of like sell your team, sell your team because this promo is coming out. In all honesty, the best time to sell your team is when the promo releases the day of release. And the reason why is because that's when everyone is buying the team back and the price of cards are skyrocketing. If you sell your team right before the promo release, that's when the market is dead. That's when you buy cards. You buy cards right before a promo comes out because that's when everyone's panicking, selling everything. Then once a the promo comes out on that day, that's when you buy your team. You, you, or you, sorry, that's when you, um, you sell your team. Sell your team on that day once the promo releases. Day before when everyone's panicking, selling their cards, that's when you buy cards. So, honestly, with the whole, you know, what promo will crash the game or crash the market and change it completely there's not really going to be a promo until we get into the holiday promos and all honesty i feel like holiday promos are the, really the big uh, you know the big killers every year when it comes to that kind of stuff that's when we start getting into the you know crazy crazy stuff is when the holiday promos come around which we're not our first holiday promos not even till what october for halloween and if we get another promo, like holidays wise, we have October for Halloween, we have Thanksgiving, we have Christmas. I mean, we're not, we'll, we'll fall away, away from those type of promos. So we don't even have to talk about selling your team yet. But I wouldn't be surprised if we did get, if we do get this um, promo, Mutt Heroes, at the end of this month. I really would not be surprised if we see, you know, a, like, not a market crash, but a market shift right before the promo does release because people are just selling their teams trying to get rid of the teams so that they can you know prepare in case they so they can make coins and it's just not 
in my opinion, going to happen. Now, right here, they actually changed Weekend League Monthly Awards. It used to say, I made a video about this, you say Mutt Hero, you'd get for going ahead and uh, getting this. Now, as it says, choose one of seven, 84 plus overall players. Will we still get Mutt Heroes? I think we will. I, I don't know if that was a mistake. They didn't want to go ahead and reveal that yet. I don't know, but I think we still will get a Mutt Hero. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Guys, this series is daily. I'm going to try my best to do the series during the day. I record these during the day at 2 to 3 p.m. So, you know, pretty much I can actually get some good snipes and not be sniping at 4 a.m. in the morning. But, guys, that's my goal. Thank you guys for watching. Again, daily series without my gamer. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.